Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at E-Trailer and today we're taking a look at the Equalizer Trailer Hitch Ball in a 2 and 5 16 configuration. And this is going to be a great option for that Equalizer weight distribution hitch that you may be putting on your car. Now our neighbor picked up an Equalizer weight distribution hitch that they're going to be towing their enclosed trailer with and included was a 2 inch ball, but the coupler on their trailer is a 2 and 5 16 So the ball doesn't ever come pre-installed on the weight distribution hitch, so now's a good time to make sure we have the right ball. Uh, this is going to work out great. It's got the inch and a quarter diameter for the shank, and this is designed for the weight distribution hitch. So this is going to be a great uh, drop in on this to make sure that we can hook up to their trailer. Being a 2 and 5 16 ball, this is obviously going to be the diameter that we need to hook up to our trailer, but also the inch and a quarter works directly with the equalizer hitch. And this, you can see, is meant for it. Equalizer stamp there. It's also rated at 16,000 pounds. So this is definitely heavy duty. It's all steel construction, and it does come with the split washer as well as the nut to get it installed. Our shank length is going to be two and three eighths. So again, since it's designed for this, it's going to work out really well. Uh, it's also double chrome plated. So this is going to hold up to any rust or corrosion long term. So even if you're using your weight distribution hitch all the time, or if it's sitting out in the elements, this is going to hold up to those long term. Now to get this installed is going to require a pretty heavy duty torque wrench and maybe a specialty socket that you may not have. But I'll show you a quick tip on how to get yours installed once you get all those proper tools. Sometimes it's really hard to get the leverage that's required to get this torque down. Uh, it is printed in the instruction manual, the torque setting you'll be using. And to just get a spot to be able to do this, rather than putting in a vise, it can be tricky, but what we'll do is we'll just loosely install the bolts on our weight distribution head onto the shank, and we're gonna turn the shank over in the hitch of our vehicle. And this is gonna be the point that's gonna hold it up for us. We want the ball facing towards the passenger side. That way, when we tighten, we're able to push down rather than pull up. And we'll just take our split washer and our nut and just kind of get these started. You'll see that there's flat sides on both sides of the ball, and that's gonna allow us to get an inch and three quarter inch wrench on the head of the ball to keep this straight. It really, it's not super crucial, but it's nice to keep that head in place as we're putting that torque on there. That way it's not spinning around. So an inch and three quarter inch wrench will go here. So since this is a specialty tool, in order to get this installed, you may have to take it somewhere, or you can pick up this socket here at E-Trailer separate if you want to do this on your own, or if you ever plan on swapping out the ball, you will need to pick this up. Now, as I mentioned, the torque setting is really high on this, and that's because it needs to stay in place, obviously, for the lifespan of towing that heavy-duty trailer that you may have. So if you don't have a large torque wrench, you may have to go out and rent one. This is a pretty large, this is a half-inch drive. Um, so we're going to be using this as well as keeping our wrench in place to get this torque down. We're probably going to want an extension as well to get this in place and make it a little bit easier. Now this is cumbersome. You might need an extra set of hands here, but with the wrench, I'm going to make sure that I keep this aligned to where that's nice and straight. And then we're just going to start cranking down until our torque wrench tells us we've reached our limit. There we go. We got our click on our torque wrench. So we've officially installed the ball on our weight distribution hitch. So with that torque down, we can officially flop this back over. And one step of your equalizer weight distribution system is already done by getting this torque down. So all that's left to do is get the rest of your system set up and now you'll be able to hook up to that two and five sixteenths coupler. And that was a look at the equalizer two and five sixteenths trailer ball for the equalizer weight distribution system.